So one of the things I just referred to this as is my title slide. Now my title slide is uh, pretty nice for sort of the opening to my presentation, but when I want to start to build uh, some of the content to it, I need to actually create a new slide. And that's actually where we get this slide section. Now from the title slide, if I simply click on new slide, you see I get a different look and feel entirely. What I actually get is now what is known as my con title and content slide. And as you can see, it has a title placeholder and it has a content placeholder. That's actually what these little dotted lines mean, is that I can put data in and if I don't actually include it, if I don't do anything to it, when I run my PowerPoint presentation, nothing will appear. So this will not appear if I don't do anything to it. So, all right, well, if we're looking at, say, for example, a CSA, you know, I gave that uh, acronym just to add a little mystique to what a CSA is. What is a CSA, you might say? I would like to sit and watch this presentation by this talking man uh, in hopes that he will explain what CSA is. So what is CSA? That's exactly what the title of a slide like this would be. It's just sort of, again, just like we would have our headings inside of Microsoft Word, we have our titles inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. And so, all right, well, what is a CSA? Now, one of the things you notice is in this placeholder, I've got little bullet points inside here. And just like when we were learning Microsoft Word, when we use a bullet point, it just gives me an unsorted list. So, community, supported, agriculture. And that's all it needs to do. Now, say for example, I did want to doll it up. It's a little tiny. If you see on my screen, I've got all this white space just hanging out here. So what I can do is I can actually highlight that data and I can increase my font size, just like we've done inside of Microsoft Word, just like we've done in Microsoft Excel and Access. I come in here, I increase my font size and I can keep doing this. Now, oh, now we see it's very standout-ish. It, it kind of uh, boldens everything a little bit more. Now the problem is, if we look at all this, this is pretty bland. This is pretty basic. Uh, and nobody does PowerPoints this way. Okay, some professors do, uh, but ew, eh, this looks hideous. We can always do a little bit more. Not a lot more, but we can do always a little bit more. And that's actually where our design tab can come into play. Our design tab allows me to apply the same thing that we learned in Microsoft Word and Excel and Access we can apply themes. Now, I'm gonna pull up Microsoft Word for a second, and you can see that inside of my design type, that's exactly what we have. We have all these different styles and themes that I can select from that allow me to insert, say for example, uh, let me put a title in, title, heating, heading. You notice there is a difference between my title and my heading, and this is heading one, and I'll make a heading two as well. Heading two. Now I can change the design of that by selecting all these different uh, document formatting options. This was in Microsoft Word. The big focus though was that I could use different styles and themes. I could select them from uh, Office, Integral, Ion, and when I selected them, they changed. That same effect comes into play inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. I can go through all of these options and you can see I have uh, Facet, Integral, Ion, those same themes actually get applied here as well. And you can see what will happen is it will go through my entire PowerPoint presentation and actually change how they look on each one. So now it's no longer just that generic this, it's a little bit more, oh, it's a little bit more changeable. We can also go even further with this. You can see over here we have variants that I can select from. So not only uh, do I work off of, say for example, this kind of bluish tint, but I could go with a more, more darker blue or maybe even a purple or more of a red ion. It's still the ion theme, still has the same fonts and colors to it, just, well, not the same colors. We can even go further. You notice that when I click on the drop down menu, I get sort of a color spectrum I can go from. 
to change this. I can go to my fonts and change my fonts. I can go to sort of my background styles and I can change the background styles all within my variant.